Mojo 2 TV Remix Show. I'm Coach Danzy alongside with my partner, Coach Fuller. Today's guest is Gabe Lucarelli from LaSalle Institute Cadets. How you doing there, Gabe? How's everything going? Oh, I'm doing all right. Um, just chilling in my house, playing basketball a little bit, going to school a lot. Okay, good. All right. So he's six six junior forward. He averaged twelve points um this season. I don't have much of the stats on him this year um because you know uh, some of the places I go to didn't really do a good job of of uh, compounding all your stats there, guys. So um tell me one thing about yourself about your game. Describe your game to all the people who haven't saw you, who haven't seen you play before. Um, yeah, so I like to just uh like drive to the basket and play uh physical, play downhill. Um, if I get a smaller guard on me, I'll post them up. Um, a little bit, I shoot threes. Uh, I like to play defense a lot too. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that as well. First question, uh, please tell me, um, you know, when you first picked up a basketball, how old were you first picked up that ball? Um, the first time I ever played basketball, I played third and fourth fourth though at uh, Holy Spirit in East Greenbush. And so uh, third grade, I just started playing and going to the Y and stuff. And I just been playing. Okay, so, so third grade is the earliest memory you have of picking up a basketball. Okay, so let me, let me ask you this. Uh, what, for, what's the first organized team you played on? Uh, uh, it was the third and fourth grade uh, CYO team, Holy Spirit. Um, CYO, yeah. All right. So at what age did you uh, realize that you can probably play this sport at a high level? At what age did you, you know, start getting a little rec recognized for your ability? Um, it was probably like seventh grade. Seventh grade, I was playing like travel basketball and stuff. And uh, I just wanted to play um, like high school basketball. And so I, I went to LaSalle for eighth grade. On the freshman team in eighth grade, and I just they gave me opportunity to play, and I just kind of stuck with it. Oh, nice, nice. All right, so talk me about your your influence on your parents, um, on you academically as well as athletically. Uh, my parents, you said? Yes, your parents. Um, my my parents they definitely pushed me to uh to be the best that I can be. Um, they support me a lot with everything. And I'm very grateful. Um, they always drive me places and they always like support me, bring me to tournaments and stuff. And they help me out with school a lot. My parents are both really smart. So they're both making sure that I like, and do my homework and stuff like that. So um, they're not too hard on me, but they definitely um, push me to make sure that I have everything up to standards. All right, so tell me, tell me your best this is my last question before I send over to coach. Tell me your best performance overall this season where you played the where you played the complete game. <laughs> it could have been the win, it could have been the loss, or whatever. <laughs> um my best game this year was probably the first time uh that we played CBA at home. Um I just felt like pretty comfortable out there. Um, um, everything just felt to like it was coming to me pretty naturally and stuff. And I was, I feel like I, we, everybody on the team was getting involved. You know, uh, we won the game, won about like 12 or 30. Uh, it just felt fun, comfortable. Uh, that was probably my favorite game, too. It was just the environment was great. Everybody was getting involved, ball and everything. That was, that was fun. That was so, a look, uh yeah, that was a home game. Okay. Now, Luke, uh, piggybacking off of that, I guess your least favorite game would have to be CBA once again. Talk to me about that letdown, because um, by all accounts, I know we had you guys' game, and they came in and you guys housed and kind of snuck away there with a victory in the sectional game, sectional round. Talk to me a little bit about that and what you think happened in that game. Um. Well, that game had a lot of ups and downs for everybody. Um, we started off the game playing, and then 
we quickly went over to zone and the zone worked out pretty well for us. Um, they just played a, they just played a good game. We were, we had a little bit of an off night shooting. I think that free throws really came to, to hurt us, especially at the end of the game. We didn't shoot free throws very well. And we didn't maximize like all the opportunities we had. Um, we let some things slip away that obviously like couldn't, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. um, there were a few possessions where everybody was kind of um, hesitant and everything and that nature, but um, they played a good game. Uh, it is what it is really. Yeah, so, um, and I like the way you just brought what one thing is um, that wasn't mentioned without mention now is that you guys went through a big change in mid-season where uh, you went from your, your coach, you know, being um, unceremoniously dismissed and your assistant coach is a little bit different. I mean, you, you familiarity with him, but it's not the guy you're accustomed to who wants in leadership. Talk to me about how that may have played the role. And also, in addition, um, what was your thoughts on the dismissal of Dessel as well? Well, um, I think that uh, Coach has the assistant who got uh, uh, boosted up. Uh, I think he did a he did a great job. Um, it was kind of, it's like a tough situation, really, just to like, take over a team and everything like that. So. I think I give him a lot of credit. I give him a lot of props. I think that he did a really good job, of, um, like calming everybody down and saying, like, listen, like it's, it is, it's gonna be all right. Like we're gonna get through it. We just got to keep playing and stay together as a team. So I think that everybody, everybody on the team is um, happy for him, and uh, they all thought that he did a great job with this end. Um, with Coach Desso getting um, removed, that's just um, that was just up to the administration, um, administration of the school, and all that. Um, that. It is what it is with that, really. Yeah, I, I don't want to bombard you, of course, with that. I know that's a very sensitive topic, big circumstances. I just wanted to really get a feel for what was your thoughts and your feelings, um, having played for the guy, had some reasonable success under the guy as well. Um. When it just happened, everybody was just kind of like, all right, we just got to keep moving forward. We can't really, like, we were still, we still had, like, six games and sectionals left, so we didn't, we couldn't really, like, stop and be, like, sad or whatever, be, really think about it that much. We just forward and keep going to practice every day, keep getting better, keep, stay focused and just play basketball, really. Gotcha. Now you have uh, a, another a con um, coach, Greg Davis of Troy High, um, Motion 2 TV, 2018-2019 Coach of the Year, uh, section title, and all those good things. Then the ridership. Now, what are your thoughts about Coach Davis, and how, has he reached out to you guys yet? Have you had any conversations, things of that nature? Uh, yeah, uh, I think obviously. Uh, a really great coach. He's had a lot of success at Troy, um, the state final four, or whatever. Like that's a, it's a big accomplishment. That's a big deal. Um, he's reached out, got like a group chat and everything, and he's, uh, he sent us like clips about like Michael Jordan and stuff, like the Last Dance and stuff like that. Um, just making sure everybody's like, out at home and doing what they can, uh, staying on top of school and stuff like that. Obviously, he's a really, really good coach. Um, we played them this year, so, I mean, it'll be fun. I'm happy, happy he got hired. Uh, he already knows most of the guys on the team because a lot, a lot of the Atlas Sal are Troy transfers, so, um, I'm happy. Good. Awesome. Now, with you, man, I mean, like Coach said, are you 6'6", six, six, you bring a lot to the, played a lot of veracity with the game. So talk to me about your mindset, man. When you come in and really assert yourself and get after it, what's your mindset? Because you're a very aggressive player on board. Um, yeah, so for me, I know this is like that for a lot of guys too. 
on the team, it's not really about like like individually like scoring like 30 points or like doing like whatever. It's just like going out there and just like doing like whatever you really need to do. Like, you know, like playing defense and just attacking really. Um, when I was in 10th grade, a sophomore varsity, I was a lot more, I was just like, I was a lot more nervous and I was a lot younger and stuff. So last year, in 11th grade, I just made sure that I was like very, like board games and stuff and ready to like attack and just be like focused and aggressive on offense and aggressive on defense too, really. Now you guys, you bullseye on your back, obviously. You guys probably going into the season, Coach and I have had these off-camera discussions, and one of the things that we kind of surmised at this point is that we would have to probably say LaSalle would be the favorite coming in to win the double A's. I mean, you guys, you guys are part of the super sophomore list, and you guys have still got that team together. Then you bring in a very accomplished, and you guys have been playing together for a while now. How you feel about that being a big bullseye on your back and coming into this season and us picking you guys preseason now, not <laughs> yet, yeah, but preseason, I only count like you guys might be the favorite. What's your thoughts? Um, yeah, that's cool. Uh, it just every day, it just got to be, we come to, we come to practice, we come to workouts and we're just staying like humble. First of all, that's very important to stay grounded. Um, I understand, yeah, like, whatever, like, we could be the favorite to win everything, but just because people pick us to win doesn't mean that it's just going to be free. Everything's just going to be handed to us. It's going to be like that because once you get to sectionals, you know, like, one loss and you're done. So I was just, um, I think that, I think we have a good opportunity. It's going to take a lot of hard work. It's going to take a lot of dedication, determination. And it's going to take everybody to have the right mindset to uh, get better and win basketball games. Now, one more comment before I throw it over to Coach. Um, is, is, your, is your nickname Gabe and your name is Christopher? Or No, my name is uh, Gabe. I'm just on my dad's computer right now. So. Oh, okay. that's, what dad, that's what Coach said. Okay. <laughs> All right. So um, also bring it back with – uh, to the beginning almost where we were starting. Um, I thought one of your better games was against Saratoga, the first game of the season, man. You had dropped 24 points in that game, knock it down two, three points as well. I thought that was a great game for you guys. I mean, you're not losing it, but uh, a performance, like almost like a coming out party for you um, for that to start of the season. Then you had another good one against Gibbons where you won that game. Um, you had 18 points in that game. So, and we don't have full stats. I don't know how many rebounds you had, me blocks you had, and all that stuff. But uh, you definitely had some performances. We didn't get out as um, as um, as much as we did with you guys the previous year due to certain uh, time time conflicts that we had. But hopefully we'll be able to fix those things and get back out, check you guys out next season. Uh, so tell me, um, so tell me, um, um, do you play another sport at La Salle do? Yeah. Um, so all I've just done cross country just to um, just be running every day and just get in, like, really, really good shape. And then in the spring, I've done um, – so I just do, like – I basically just do it to uh, – all my a bunch of my friends do it. And What sport is that again? You broke up. What sport was that? Um, outdoor track. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So it's just, it's just fun. A bunch of my friends do it. A couple of guys from the team do it, and we just do, like, high jump, long jump. Yeah, I was gonna ask you that. Yeah. So what was your high jump? What was your high jump result uh before this before this season? Um wait, they didn't get to the outdoor this year, did we? No, we had like a week and a half of practice. And yeah, was... the COVID came in and it swiped things away, didn't it? Oh man. I think yeah. that's a good opportunity for you to really um develop those even those uh, jumping abilities you got now even more, increase it even more. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, is that the reason why you're using it? Like, use it as a, a transferable type of skill, a sport for your main sport? That's why you use that? Why you play yeah. different sports? Yeah, me and uh, – we basically – we just – we did high jump just because, like, I mean, you're just jumping over and over again. Like, you're just going to get better at it. And so the thought was 
um, our vertical for, for basketball, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. All right, so talk to me about your your academics, man, and uh, how much effort and how much uh, will and how much you really want to do well in that in that domain of the academics. I mean, you, you're, you're a fabulous basketball player, but we, as we know, that is a student athlete. So tell me why you take so much pride, or if you do take pride in your academics, and um, what do you want to do in the future? Uh, yeah, so um, in my house, my um, very, very smart people. And so they take, um, they have very high expectations for me in the classroom, really. So I always make sure I have to, I try my best in class and I stay focused. I do all my work and stuff. And I, I do actually take a lot of pride in my grades and, and stuff like that because I, um, I do, I work hard for them and I, I always uh, try my best, really. So school has been better than what I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you. Um, LaSalle has been great. Um, all the teachers have been very, like, accommodated to everybody. But, and um, it's wrapping up soon, but I think everybody, um, everybody wishes we were still in class right now. But. So what do you think about doing as far as um, – Something, I know you got a year away from me thinking about this, but do you have any ink, inkling of what you want to do for the acad for a degree program when you get to college? Yeah, yeah. I've been I've been starting to think about it more. Um, I think I might want to become like a, a teacher. Oh wow! So I might want to become like a special ed teacher or something. Like um, I don't, I'm not really sure yet, but right now that's what I think. Okay. Now let's talk about the COVID. You you know, you're so. What are you doing now academically uh, to um, to get you through, get you through all, get you get you through all this? For the for your um, schoolwork, are you using Google Classroom or Zoom or whatever? No, um, most of my classes we have like a Google Classroom and stuff. So we've been doing like calls just like this and doing schoolwork and stuff. Um, in English, like we've been working on our college essays and stuff. We really haven't been getting like too much like homework really just because like everybody learns at like their own pace and stuff right. like that. Mm -hmm. But um, we've been having a lot of like calls online and stuff. Um, like I said, LaSalle has been great. She's been all um, making sure that everybody's like engaged. Um, so, I mean, it's been pretty well. It's, going, it's been going well for me. So what have you been doing as far as your basketball game during the COVID pandemic? Have you been in the weight room doing doing push-ups? What are you doing? Are you going outside, working your handle, working your jump shot? What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> um, I've been going to the park a lot with my dad, and we've just been working out of the park and stuff. I have some, like, I have weights in my garage. Mm, nice. My birthday is coming. So my mom got me, like, an early birthday gift. Um, she got me some like extra weights and stuff to help me out. So I've been doing a lot of doing um, just a lot of body weight stuff really, and I've been trying to stay in like really good shape too because that's something that I really don't want to do. I really don't want to have to get back in shape. That's not really fun. So I've just been trying to not get out of shape in the first place. So I've just been. A lot of like ball handling stuff and just trying not to get too, too rusty. So when we do get back in the gym, it'll come back fast. Good. Awesome. Um, Gabe, like I said, uh, we had a chance to talk to you. We, we covered LaSalle in our preseason this year, and we had an opportunity to sit down with you then. And it's always been a pleasure to talk with you. We admire your game. We admire your hard work. We admire your spirit. We admire the confidence. We admire all the things that you bring to the game of basketball and you play. And you give the game what it's required. And that's what I tell a lot of kids. You got to give the game what it requires. And you're an individual that does that. And I hope, I see great things for you moving forward. Um, like I said, you guys got it. But I think you guys can definitely handle it. If anybody that can handle it, the team of LaSalle Cadets can handle it. We appreciate you coming on and spending time and being a guest with ours. And we look forward to you down the line. And we wish you the best in your future endeavors. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Yeah, that's good. And that's your motion to TV.